bum. It's giving it's giving bummy. Bunny mummy. Okay. <laughs> It's okay, y'all, because I've been chasing dreams and toddlers today, okay? So, mind your business, please. And don't judge me, judge your mommy. Okay. Hey, love, how are you? I didn't expect that many people to be on this live because it is so early. But it feels late at the same time because of daylight savings time. But it's okay because King don't got school tomorrow. And I know a lot of moms, I don't know if it's like this in y'all say, but tomorrow and what's, what's tomorrow? Thursday? Thursday and Friday, King don't have no school. So he get like a four day weekend. Hey y'all. So I'm grateful. You know, most moms are like, oh, I want to send my kid to school. Mm -mm. I'm glad my kid at home because I feel like I'm in school. When I gotta wake up at 6.30 in the morning to make sure he does everything that he needs to be doing so he can be ready for school. <laughs> so, I'm happy. Your girl gonna get some sleep. She actually gonna get her extra hour because she's supposed to get. How's everyone doing? I figured I would go live to pass some time and chit chat with you guys. Girl, I am so grateful. I'm so grateful my kid ain't got school tomorrow. Today, they celebrated his teacher's birthday. Her birthday is on the 12th, but they um, like did like a little gift. Like all the parents, they reached out to us and said that we could donate a certain amount of money to go towards a gift that one of the uh, classroom moms was putting together for her. So, of course, I donated because she's an awesome teacher, and I've seen so much progress in King's um uh education this year so not only that but king came home was like mommy my teacher's birthday is tomorrow he doesn't know so i'm like okay i already knew it was on the 12th but he's like i need to get her something so i'm like okay do you want to go buy her a card even though i knew you know he his contribution was for me donating he's like no i don't want you to buy her a card can i make her one so i'm like sure you know y'all my baby's card was the freaking cutest thing ever we don't get half days no more, you guys. I miss the half day of school thing, but they don't get those no more. Um, here in North Carolina, at least. But he made her the cutest card with a whole bunch of hearts. And she said Kingston was the only student who gave her, like, a personal card. And I'm like, well, girl, he insisted on giving you a handmade card versus a store-bought one. He wanted you to know. Okay. <laughs> but it was so cute. I was like, oh, he wrote the cutest little note and drew the nicest picture. I'm like, my kid is the best. He's going to have an awesome wife one day. Speaking of wife, let's get into it. My second grader likes someone, you guys. And not like as far as like, okay, that's his friend. He told me he loves this girl in his class. And at first, I'm just like, excuse me? Come again, son? <laughs> like, uh-uh. At, at. No, ma'am. So, he like, her name, I'm like, well, what's her name? So, he tells me, whatever, like, what makes you like her? You know, she's insane, great. So, he tells me she's smart. She's, he loves her blonde hair, y'all. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay. He's like, and I always choose her to be my partner because I really, really like her. I said, well, does she know that you like her? So, he goes, no. I said, well, baby, you can't love nobody that don't know that you love them, okay? So, you can save all your love for your mama and your sisters for now. But he is just so funny. He gets all shy when I talk about it, so I don't bring it up too much. But I thought that was so cute. Like, son, slow your old partner, okay? You're only in the second grade. <laughs> hey, y'all. How is everyone doing? I'm just rambling. I don't know why it feels like a Friday to me. I guess because King doesn't have school for these next two days. But it's giving Friday vibes. The next thing Christmas-wise that I want to work on is the kitchen. I've already started a little bit with um, some of the stuff that I had last year. I ain't going to go overboard in the kitchen. But I do want to make it like festive because I'm like getting super excited about it. The living room got me like feeling all the vibes. Speaking of, look at my tree. Over there, nice and lit. 
but I just love how everything turned out. Like I usually, because of how my body is feeling, I lay in my bed a lot, but I feel like the further along that I get, the more uncomfortable the bed is. So I've been spending a lot of time in the living room. And yeah, so Mila's with my grandma. Mila has bad anxiety and she started not to really care for the kids like that. So we go visit Mila as much as possible. And if my grandma need a break, we'll get Mila. But um, my grandma loves her. Like they have an awesome bond. But yeah, so I'm gonna do the kitchen next, you guys. But I knew I flooded y'all last week. So I kind of wanted to give y'all a breath of fresh air. And not only that, I feel like I overdid it last week. Not as far as like the videos, but as far as like putting too much of my body, going in all those stores. Because I've been having so much Braxton Hicks contractions. And not only that, my leg, my legs, my ankles were so swollen. And I'm like, okay, I'm only in second trimester. This is my last week in my second trimester though. But I don't even do that much. You know, I do the main basic things that a mom, stay at home mom should do, cook, clean, but not enough that I feel like my ankles should be swollen. And, oh, excuse me, yesterday, the Braxton Hicks were so bad. I was like, I was gonna put up the video that I posted the tour yesterday, but I just had to stop editing and just tell myself like, girl, take a break, it's okay. He put up a lot of videos last week, last week. So, my baby's crying. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what's going on. Just give it a minute, okay? Okay, mom life calls. Noble. Um <laughs> decided to leave her mom a treat. You didn't want to go to the potty? Potty? Don't touch. Don't 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 touch it, honey. Don't. No, don't touch it. Please. It's already hard enough as it is. This is like a grown woman. I feel like I'm changing a grown woman, honey. Oh, yeah, you definitely did a number for me, huh? By the way, potty training isn't going too well. No, it's not like Charlie was whatsoever. She's more on the tomboy side. <laughs> and Charlie used to hate even having pee sitting on her in her diaper. So potty training her was not hard whatsoever. This one? She's more like a little boy. <laughs> She's like my boys were. They didn't care. King used to go behind chairs and squat and do all the things and hide from me. Yep, that's noble. Girl, wait a minute. You stink. 
You know that? How would you do that to me? Put your little funky self. Wait a minute. Then you act like you got somewhere to be. You don't have nowhere you need to be. You about to get in this tub. Put your funky self. Girlfriend, we gotta get you off these diapers before your brother get here, okay? Okay? You done? Stop! Stop! But I love you, Dave. Okay, um. I play loving. Uh huh. Your face is nasty. You know, mommy can't deal with no nasty nose. You got any boogers? You got any boogers and stuff? Let me see. Oh, you do. Let me get it. All right. I'll leave you alone. You gonna go play? You gonna go play? Yeah? Pretty. Pretty. You are pretty. Come on. All done? How big? <sighs> <laughs> when am I due, y'all? <laughs> okay. All right. She's back. She's back like she never left. Um. Yeah, that's how I felt. It was definitely easier to train Charlie than it was than it is Noble, but baby, <laughs> Noble's not, she's a little gangster, she doesn't care. <laughs> now she will pee in a potty, we have had some successful pee pee breaks, but <sighs> she's not doing what she's supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely gonna be big, um, I've come to terms with it. And I'm just like, hey. And I honestly feel like they got my due date off a little bit. But I'm just go with it. He gonna come when he ready. And I'm gonna be ready for him when he decides. Ready. Okay. I'm so ready for him though. But. Yeah, I don't remember what I'm saying. Oh, about overworking myself last week. But yeah, so I've been kind of just like chilling. I can't fit nothing. What I got on right now is Quan's. Because my big tail leggings just hurt my waist so bad. Like, I really just need to go shopping for myself. I always have an issue for buying things for myself. But I need to do some retail therapy for me because it's giving real big and it's giving not being able to wear none of her clothes. <laughs> and Quan's like, well, you can wear my stuff. And I'm like, in the house. Okay, I will in the house. I don't go nowhere anyway, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. She's gonna be all right. Let's see. I need to sit y'all up. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the videos. I'm glad if you have watched my my previous video. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, I'm glad I tried to make it a little fun and make it seem like I invited y'all over. Cause y'all know y'all always welcome in the Minx family household, no matter what, no matter what, where, or, uh. oh my, this little boy, and he's so active, y'all, like, this is my most active baby out of all of my kids. Yeah, it really is, y'all. I haven't done nothing for me. I've just been focusing on our main goals. Um, these right here, I ain't been doing them. I've been, I tried to do the press on thing for a little bit, but I wash so much dishes. After a while, it's like, 
Ain't no point. Oh, hey girl from Jamaica. Um, but yeah, I do need to do something for myself, but it's so hard. Like anytime I try to go out and do something for me, I end up doing something for my babies. Yes. Go. I end up doing something for my kids, but that's a real mom for you. I'm okay with it. But I do need to go by myself a few things. Okay, so the name reveal. Y'all ready for that, ain't y'all? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Trust me. If I'm not comfortable, I'll move. But um, the name reveal video. So I had this idea. I ain't even gonna stunt, y'all. I was on YouTube trying to figure out how can I make this creative and fun and involve my kids um, in this name reveal video y'all know i'm all about involving my children but hi are you hold on yes i'm going to be doing a no nursery no problem video for y'all um but i've just been so focused on this christmas stuff and wrapping up in this christmas stuff i have not thought about the like i've been thinking about my baby but like baby shopping and i can't wait to take you guys like doing baby shop with me and stuff those are coming you guys are probably gonna see a lot of those next huh sure um y'all probably want to see a lot of baby shopping during vlogmas charlie charlie stop yelling <laughs> um a lot of baby stuff videos next month too baby mixed with christmas because i am going to be in full on prep for baby mode next month in january because technically babies do at the beginning of february and as i told you guys before i haven't really done no real shopping for him yet as i should like i feel like i'm super behind i'll be 27 weeks next week and not only that, I have to do the week of Thanksgiving. Y'all know I gotta go get my glucose test done. So I definitely wanna go ahead and get started on that stuff. But hopefully Black Friday, I find a lot of good stuff for not just my other kids, but for him as well. Cause you know, some of these stores be doing like the Black Friday on little clothes and stuff. But just stay tuned for those videos because I'm super excited. My big hand all in the way, okay um kobe <laughs> but the the plan is to do um i was gonna drop the gender reveal video sunday um but like i was saying i was looking at gender name reveal not gender reveal name reveal videos on youtube and i really didn't see many that didn't have like their baby already here and they actually revealing the baby plus the name or what they named their baby um so i came across one family i've never watched their channel ever it was my first video that i watched by them and they have like a million and something subscribers if i'm not mistaken but super cute family large family and she did this really cute idea with her kids for the name reveal so i'm gonna do that but put my own little spin on it and i'm so ready for y'all to um um see it because i just want to tell y'all i really want to tell y'all right now <laughs> like, i just want to be like his name is and tell y'all because i just can't hold it in anymore and kwan gave me to go to tell y'all so i'm excited um i put if you go to my community tab a lot of people has been have been asking me like how they can buy something or get something for him I put my our baby registry now it's not a ton of stuff on there and i had somebody message me today on instagram like girl you have no baby clothes on your baby registry but that's only because i was trying to focus on like the necessity things diapers wipes like baby wash and stuff like that because i know the clothes and stuff is like stuff that we can get closer to time but like i said i'm so grateful for anything that is bought for him if you choose to buy something for him if you can't buy nothing for him your support during this journey is well more than enough for us but i did put a registry in my community tab i asked did you guys want me to do a virtual baby shower because we're not doing a real baby shower for this baby 
Um, and I did, Kwan and I was going to consider having like a diaper party with like some of our friends and family. But I just don't want to put too much on my plate um, next month or a month before I have him. So I feel like Vlogmas is going to be, it's going to keep me busy. Okay. So with that being said, I did put the registry in my community tab. If you want to get him something. Um, yeah i did see that some of the sales have started already because the girls um i've been seeing like shoes and stuff on sale so keegan my dad wanted to buy the kids some shoes so he got all of them some shoes but he sh got them shipped to the house or whatever he's always doing stuff for the kids and so I bought, I picked out the shoes and then sent him the link just to make it easier on him because he worked so much. Keegan's shoes came today. They were so cute. I'm going to show them to y'all before I end this live. And then the girls ended up getting some shoes I seen on sale at Old Navy for $16 for the cutest boots. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared it because any mamas that got little girls like me, I thought, oh my gosh, these are just like a must have. And then King chose his own shoes. He didn't want no winter boots. He is a tennis shoe kid, really a sock tennis shoe kid king does not like shoes with shoe strings he likes those sock like shoes that you just put on or crocs so he chose his shoes and so i'm definitely gonna get the kids some more shoes and clothes and then baby some more shoes and clothes because my kids are growing like weeds and i can pass a lot of king stuff down to keegan but a few new things won't hurt so there's that um let's see which one of my babies was the easiest birth the easiest birth hmm kings was he's not he was not an easy birth he was he the boy ripped me from the front to the back to the sides to the all of it <laughs> um and plus he was nine pounds four ounces king was not easy uh um cha-cha was the most miserable birth for me um and keegan i cannot remember keegan's birth i know that he's the only kid that broke my water but as far as the pushing process i cannot recollect what that was like like I, I cannot remember and then nobles was a very embarrassing birth but i don't know which one was easier like that's a good question maybe maybe him maybe look he ain't even here yet but maybe he will be my easiest Maybe he'll slide right out with no problem. Yeah, a lot of people voted that they wanted me to do a virtual chair. And I got some packages at the door the other day from Amazon. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't order anything from Amazon. So I knew that it was from, I checked my baby registry. And I'm like, oh, well, somebody has bought something or some stuff because it was more than one. And I'm like, that's why I asked the question. I'm like, tap, like do y'all want me to open up that stuff on camera because i would love to do that if y'all want me to but if not cool i open it up organize it and get it all cute and then show y'all later but either way i'm excited to do it but i know we're not doing a baby shower like excuse me not even nothing small um like with our family but i definitely did send the registry to some family members because we're not doing one so just in case they do want to get something for him I did send it out to like a few family members and Quan got family members out of town. So yeah, but we're excited. I cannot wait to smell and love on him. I think my most excited kid about baby has to be Keegan. Keegan checks up on me. He makes sure I cannot bring Keegan in here without him saying his brother's name. Like he's going to give it away. Like I'm telling y'all, he's so crazy by his brother. Um, both of my were hard. I had two big babies. One was eight pounds and my son was nearly ten. Lord bless your heart. I know that. Okay, I'll do a virtual baby shower for y'all. I'll just save it. So I haven't opened it or nothing. So I'll just save it and then we'll figure out a date. We might be able to do it if I have us like a ugly Christmas sweater virtual baby shower next month. I'm trying to do all the things in December, but we'll see how it all plays out. Hopefully, um, everything goes as planned and baby waits until 
the due date, but I'm excited. I haven't done a virtual baby shower since I was pregnant with Keegan. And that was really, really exciting. And I only did, my registry was for Target. So, I'm excited if y'all are excited. And I'll do it if y'all want me to. Definitely. But, yeah, I really want to get this gender, not gender, why do I keep saying gender? This name reveal video up, at least by Sunday. I was telling my sister my idea. I was waiting for the longest. I didn't tell my mom or my sister his name. And then we were at my mom's, uh, what was it, the Halloween thing. And then I'm like, okay, I'ma just tell him. Well, Quan was like, you can go ahead and tell him. And I was so excited because I could finally tell them. So I told him and then my mom's reaction kind of made me emotional. And I'm just like, it's perfect. But no, I don't have a PO box. That's why I set up a registry to kind of make it easier because I don't even, I really don't want to get us a PO box till we move into our house. Um, but yeah, so that's why I did the registry. Hey girl. I'm watching the cookie bacon champion. Is it the cookie bacon championship or the cookie? challenge or something like that holiday cookies with um Reed Drummond that's my girl the pioneer woman I could watch anything with her on it but um that's not be watching like baking shows and all that good stuff all that good juicy stuff but yeah y'all Every night I anticipate Quan coming home. He he y'all know he works two jobs, so he leaves at like eight in the morning, go to the shop. When he get off at the shop, he goes to the second job and he doesn't get off to like nine thirty, ten, between nine thirty and ten. But he doesn't work too far from where we stay, so he'll get home in a nice time depending on how busy or how much is going on. So how much work they gotta do. So anytime he comes home, I have to wait. I told y'all I showers it's just like a pre thing for me. Like I don't, I take my shower and then I like to sit in the tub and soak because that's my moment when he comes in the door. So anytime he comes in, I'm like, babe, he run my bath water. Like I'd be so ready for him to get home. So I can go in there and take a good bath. Like, oh, uh, just, that's just like my moment. Like he bonds with the kids. I close the room door and I just sit in here and I'll walk, catch up on some YouTube videos and just sit in the tub and just, enjoy my time like it's just like the cherry on top of my day i can't do it without him here because i get stuck my big tail i tell myself i'm not doing it anymore without his help because honey i can't be in there scaring my kids y'all watch the baking shows i like the baking shows i be on it i watch the holiday wars the Holiday Wars, I feel like, is a new one. Maybe I'm late to the game, but I watched the Holiday Wars. I watched the Holiday Baking Championship, and then I watched the Cookie, the Holiday Cookie Show. Even during the Halloween time, Holloway, the Halloween stuff. How do I feel so old? I've been watching you since before Noble. <laughs> now she's two. I tell you, time just flies. I watch your mom. Two. Nobody is too right. Yes, girl, she's two, and time does fly. Time flies by. Like I was in here the other every night. I'm I get the opportunity to rock Noble to sleep. Now I try to do it before Quan gets home because if her daddy comes home, I get kicked to the curb. But before he comes home, I try to have Noble sleep because Noble is a handful at night. Like if I don't put her down before Juan gets in I know he's gonna have a time like he, she just refuses to go to sleep until he lays down and he be want his game time you know he wants to get wine down from work too so I be wanting him to get his time <laughs> but Noble is obsessed with her father she's starting to now that he's not here that much the moment that she does get her moment with him she wants her moment you know but I'm very grateful for our time, like, of me just being able to rock her to sleep in these moments. Like, she's a big girl. She's only two, but she's a chunky two-year-old. But just sitting, like, I sit right here, and I'll turn something on that I know she won't be interested in, like one of my cooking shows or something. And I'll just rock her to sleep, and she'll just go to sleep with her little hand resting on 
my stomach. Now, this sweet boy in here don't really care for her laying on top of him, so he be kicking and doing the most, but I just love it. Like, I just be like, my baby is just really about to be a big sister. Like, she's really two. And then she comes in here and just be saying stuff. Yeah, she's definitely turning to it. Charlie, 100% daddy girl. Noble, she's starting to veer a little bit away from me. But I understand. They're crazy about their daddy. Um, Even the boys, though. Like, the boys are team mommy, but they, they love their daddy. Like, and I just love it. So, but Noble, she's growing up. Let me see. Are you okay? Did he leave a mark? Tell him if he puts his hands on you again, it's going to. It's, he's going to have to go to bed. It's, it's going to be bedtime for him. Okay. And y'all stop jumping and stuff because the neighbors downstairs they don't want to hear that. It's getting late. Who? They're not. I'm sure they want to go to sleep though. So tell them to stop jumping. Go play. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I believe you. Go ahead. Don't she make a noise? Wait, imagine all the baby Santa's gonna bring you. If you be a good girl. Are you gonna be on a naughty or nice list? Go tell them to stop stomping. No. No. You have a lot of days, baby. It's not even December the 1st yet. I'll let you know. When we put out the cookies and stuff, then you'll know. Yes. Sure. Um, um, can we get some, some Maybe. Okay. Alright, tell them to stop jumping, please. <laughs> that is girl, yes. My oldest not doing nothing. <laughs> Pack of underwear, okay. But yeah, I just soak it up, y'all. Like, I just be in here just kissing all over her when she lets me because, oh yeah, Charlie, honey, she's all in. Like, every day, is it time for Christmas? And I'm like, I kind of got them confused because I don't put up the decorations. So they like, mommy, he asked me the other day, he said, why do you have all this Christmas stuff and Santa has not came yet? And I'm like, son, your mom has a problem. <laughs> So I can have to tell them, like, they're coming. He's coming. It's just not quite time yet. Mommy just meant a little bit too early this year. But I'm glad I did it early because I get to enjoy it. Enjoy it to the fullest. But, yeah, y'all. My noble is growing up so fast. I cannot wait for this baby to get here, though. Y'all know we like to do the um take the boys to the beach for their birthday. Like we started that last year, and I wanted to do it again this year, but King has expressed to me that he does not want to be at the beach this year, and baby will be like two or three months during that time. Um, King wants to go to Great Wolf Lodge. So, we'll probably be doing that. But it works for me only because it's indoors and I feel like it'll be just a little better. They are telling me my due date is Valentine's Day of next year, of course. Um, but I don't. Mm -mm. If I had to guess, and I want y'all to remember this live, if I have to guess when he will be here. I will give y'all the last week in January. If not on Charlie's birthday, right there, a day before or a day after. And Charlie's birthday is January 29th, so we will see. Yes, so we are going to my mom, my mom and Ron's house for Thanksgiving. That is the plan. Um, Quan's mom isn't cooking this year. 
so um we don't have to like house hop but of course if she would have been cooking we would have been right there both spots but oh excuse me um yeah we're going to my mama's and we'll be at my mom's for christmas eve and christmas day once we get done here so lots of juicy vlogs coming also um the plan is to send our key i know i don't do this i'm saying it but i haven't really set it in stone yet the plan because i do want to go out black friday shopping and don't tell me i don't need to be out there y'all because those deals okay i have gotten my black friday ad and i got my stuff circled and some of those deals i just gotta be out there okay <laughs> not gonna be by myself um but Quan and i want to do some black friday shopping for the kids Quan really don't care but he's kind of just like coming coming with me for security <laughs> and for um you know to do something together so i figured i would film our black friday shopping hey love um but we're gonna have the kids dropped off of course with either their nana i know my mom's gonna be too busy on thanksgiving and you know black friday starts the next morning i believe but we'll be extra careful don't worry y'all um and trust me, don't nobody want to try nothing, okay? <laughs> take that information how you want to take that information. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be fun, though. I feel like it's going to be fun, and it's going to be time for me and Quan to just, like, be together. You know, have, like, our little moment. And it's probably going to be, like, the first video for Vlogmas. Yeah, like, it sounds crazy, but it's just fun. Like, you only live once. Um, Valerie, I don't know how my mom's going to do it this year. I'm just going to kind of come with the flow and bring my family. <laughs> um, And however she says she's going to do it, then whether it's pajamas, we'll be in our pajamas. If it's sweaters, we'll be in our sweaters. If it's come as you are, we're going to come as we are. But I'm sure her and Ryan will do something really nice. I am one of your granddaughters, girl. You ain't know. <laughs> you ain't know. And you and you look, you got your great grand on the way. <laughs> but I'm just so ready for all the holiday stuff. Like, I'm just so ready. I do, I told you guys, I do like a board for my kids. Like, I, I go on Pinterest and I choose like a, a cute little background. And I've done this, like, it's like my second year doing it. And um, I asked them what's on their their Christmas wish list from Santa. Now that they're getting older, I kind of explained to them a little bit better. Like you get one big gift from Santa and then the rest is from mommy and daddy versus giving Santa all the credit like I did last year. But um, so I did that. And so I got all their little boards set up in my phone. It's like a little checklist. And so most of Charlie's stuff, it's gonna be on mad sale black friday so it's like i have to get it okay especially that big ticket item because if i don't get it on black friday i'm gonna be paying almost 200 dollars for it and i got four kids and one on the way <laughs> so i'm just i really need that deal and it's gonna be 60 dollars on black friday i need to get that so we will definitely be pushing and shoving for that <laughs> but other than that, like, I put the boys and stuff together. Keegan, super easy. Anything Batman. Anything Batman. Okay? Yeah, I did see that. There's, like, different sales every week. I get, like, a little email. Um, but I ain't seen the deal like I did. Cause you can go on BlackFriday.com and they'll show you, like, all the stuff that's gonna happen on Black Friday. But, um... The deal on Charlie's big ticket item, I ain't seen that yet. <laughs> Every time I look, everything is sold out. So I know I'm going to have to go in the store to find that item. But we're going to see, y'all. Definitely going to see. I might be, y'all might catch me rolling in one of those little things on Black Friday. One of those little carts. Um, But don't judge me. Got to get it done. How you get it done, right? <laughs> For you kids. But I'm ready. 
Like, I'm so ready. Like, I know this is going to be super fun. And I hope Quan gets a day off <clears throat> to do it. I'm going to be so sad if he don't. Like, I'm legit going to have to tell my mama, look, you have to come with me. Okay? So get your pocketbook, get your shoes, your boots, whatever you want to put on, and you're coming with me. Because we have to do this. But I'm so ready. Me and my mom have a collab coming up soon. I'm excited about it. I started to film it today, but I'm like, uh-uh, don't do too much, girl. I'll probably film it tomorrow, though, and then just be ready for when she's ready. But we have a collab coming up for y'all, so stay tuned for that. What y'all getting into this tonight? What y'all making for dinner? Because your girl ate Chick-fil-A. <laughs> me and the kids had Chick-fil-A. And then they asked me to make them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, the boys did. So I made them that. And then I just ate a chicken sandwich with some fries. I didn't, like, cook tonight because I just didn't. But, um, I ain't done a grocery haul for y'all in forever either. I figured I would go grocery shopping. We got a new Aldi's, y'all. So, in this area, like, literally two minutes away from where we stay. Ooh, stew chicken. Girl, that sounds good. Two minutes away from where we stay, they opened up a massive Aldi's. Okay, I haven't been to Aldi since I was, like, little. Like, when my mom used to go to the grocery store, she used to buy her wine out of there. My mom is a wine fanatic from Aldi's. So, I remember just, like, going in that type of store when I was little. But I've been seeing people on... My kids are just amped up. I've been seeing people on YouTube, like, share some of, like, Aldi's. I guess they don't just sell food. I'm ready to go to Aldi's. <laughs> And it's new. I seen so many people walking in and out the other day. I'm like, oh my gosh, Quan, the Aldi's is open. He like, yeah, I seen that. Like curbside pickup and everything. I said, oh, that's how I be doing my grocery shopping. But I do gotta go to Sam's. Sam's give me bad anxiety though. Like it just be so many people, and I just find myself just in that mass, just breathe. It just be too much. So I don't be trying to go to nothing that's too busy. But um. <laughs> I sound country? Really? They used to tell me that in school, but. Girl. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. But I'm ready to go to all these because it's going to be nice. I got to get on my FaceTime call with my baby tonight. My auntie baby. He FaceTimes me every night, y'all. It's just the sweetest thing ever. He makes my baby fever just so high. I said, if I wasn't pregnant already, he would be the reason why I would get pregnant <laughs> on purpose. Because <laughs> he's just so freaking cute and so scrumptious. And I just love him. And his little smiles, like his little smile with those little eyes. Oh, uh, me and mom would just be on FaceTime soaking him up. And he'd just be smiling. I can't wait to call him. One of my kids trying to tell and Kenny's trying to stop them from telling. Very funny. Very so funny. Oh, yeah, that's really why. But they used to tell me, that, like, y'all country. Like, me and my sisters, they used to be like, y'all are so country. So, like, bro, no, we're not. We are not. But, like, when we have, like, when we be playing, like, with our our voices like when we change our voices okay chill out please play, play nice keep our hands to ourself keegan keegan is that one y'all that is the sour patch kid okay 